team, Sam here, Mind My Needle, back for another episode of Floss Cube, coming to you from a sunny Greytown in New Zealand. It's Good Friday here, so I thought I'll jump on and give you an update. Um, a lot has happened, I have five or six finishes to show you, a couple of whips, and some um, stash, and a gift I received and also a chart swap I want to do with someone. So, um, just a quick update. As I said, it's Good Friday here. So there's the Wairarapa Balloon Festival, which is the hot air balloons. Um, we missed it this morning. We decided to have a lay-in since there were no kids here. Woohoo! A little bit of a break for us. So hopefully uh, we'll get up early tomorrow and be able to see the dawn uh, balloon going on um, so that will be quite cool um, we uh, have been looking at houses still to buy my partner and I um, so at the moment no update on that still looking um, so yeah and tomorrow I am getting a sewing machine woohoo never owned one and that's so I can turn some of my smalls into little pillows that I want to do and eventually I want to make my own quilt um, just like a single size so I can have it over my lap as I'm stitching um, that's about it as you can tell I got a jumper on this morning because it is a little chilly here um, being autumn now and where where Greytown is it's situated close to two different mountain ranges so as it gets colder um, and snow comes on the mountains, I'm going to be wearing more clothes because I don't like the cold. Alright, let's get into it. We'll start with um, a gift I received. Um, this is from Darla. Uh, she sent me a birthday card. Here it is there. And she also sent me Carrie, Carrie's Creation um, hand dyed floss in the colour Aurora. Very cool. Thank you, Dala. Colours are coming out pretty true this morning with some natural light in here. So there's that. Um, we'll just go on to my whips. I'm only working on three pieces really at the moment. Um, the first piece is my Nora Corbett, Miss Columbian can't pronounce the other word. So this is my first Nora. Um, I'm stitching this on a 32 count cream Lugana. It calls for white but I don't want to use the white on this chart. Um, so I haven't done much on this lately but this is where I'm up to. So I was working on this this week. So in here Oh, in here I was off a stitch so I've had to unpick that that you can see so I'll fix that up probably today so my plan is so that's her skirt there that's the top of her boots and this is her wing starting so I think I might do this side and then go on to the opposite side before I do her head and the her boots and stuff it's my first Nora loving it I'm taking my time with this one, um, generally doing one stitch at a time, just to make sure I get it right, because I don't want to have to go through and unpick a whole heap. Um, the other piece I've been working on is my Country Cottage, the cafe. This is done on a 32 count linen, I think it's lamb's wool. Where's that? Put that behind there. Last time you saw it, I was with the borders. Oh, let's get rid of that. I was working on the borders because I had problems with alignment. So I finished the borders, I finished the white border, I've put the flowers, started the flowers and the darker green all in the borders. Um, done this, the pots, and above here will be the cafe, and then it's just all like the back stitching and the little finicky bits in between. Loving it. So that piece. 
is a piece I stick in hand. And my other whip at the moment is, this is part of my haul. I got the Lizzie Kate Autumn Smalls and I've started Autumn. So my, this is my other whip at the moment. And this out. So this is doing getting stitched on a 32 count uh, 32 count mocha Belfast. Here it is there. So I'm doing all mine in DMC. I'm not getting fancy floss for it. Um, I'm not too happy with the coverage on the N for the black. It was coming up all right on camera. On the branch I done railroad on the end I didn't. So I might unpick this and railroad it. Just so it lays better. So it's very cool. Um, so that's my whips at the state. Uh, what else? Um, I'll do haul first and then finishes because it leads into my finishes so one thing I bought recently was cross stitch crazy uh, no cross stitcher sorry it's a February issue so here in New Zealand magazines arrive pretty late um, a couple of months normally after or a month after and the reason why I bought it was I'll show you um, there's two patterns in here I wouldn't mind doing. Uh, where are you? Oh, for those that are interested, in here is... The Circle of Love. And we all know who this is by, Emma Condon. That's not the pattern I bought this for. I bought this for their letter library. Because it's all coffee. So they've done this one on the back that says fresh brew. It's very cool. So I'll look at doing something like that. And the other one is... This is by... Uh, who's, who's the designer? Little Dove Designs, who is Faye Walsh. This makes me think of Pam from Just Keep Stitching. So this is the Seasang sampler. And it says, life isn't about waiting for the winds to change, it's about learning to adjust your sails. I like that, that's very cool. There's the two I got it for. Um, I also got some 30, no, some 16 count Ren Ada from 123. I bought it as a 16 count to give it a go and see what it was like. I like that. Mottling's very nice on it. Um, I got Festive Little Fods Springtime Edition by the Heartstring Sartlery. That's cool. Also got, um, I might do that with that one. I got Little House Needlework Singing in the Blues. This calls for three, uh, three colours. You can either do it, they've got a crescent colour works, or they've got a bow swirl, or they, you can do DMC. So I might see if I've got some variegated um, DMC or something similar to do it in. So last month in February, um, from the Cross Stitch ATC group, some of the ladies that have been stitching and were sending me cards and things actually sent some variegated floss and some hand dyes. So I might do that and use these. See if I've got a blue, I think. I'm pretty sure I've got a blue. And use it on this. 
I got Blum, Plum Street Samplers Cape Cod Keepers. So for this one, um, I am going to order the weeks in the classic it colours for, classic colour works floss it calls for. Um, I priced it up and it will cost about 50, I think it was, with shipping from 123 to New Zealand was 50 US dollars. So I'm just going to have to wait a bit because that's about 70 New Zealand dollars just for colours. And there's 13 in here. And I'll need to order some 36 count as well to stitch this on. Because I don't want to do it on 32, I want to do it on the um, 36 because I want to make these pillows. I'm into trying to make these pillows at the moment. And then I got some more Lizzie Cakes. So I got all the seasonal smalls. So I got the spring smalls. And this came with the um, embellishments. I don't know if you can see that up there. The dragonfly. And then I got the winter smalls with the embellishments. And then the summer one. Once again, it's got the embellishments. So my plan is, each season, I want to stitch this, the words, at the beginning of the season. That's why I'm working on the autumn one now. Um, I might have that finished today, actually. I think I'm missing a colour or two, so that's alright. I'll just have to swap it out. Really love this beehive. And then I also got another Lizzie Kate, uh, red, white, and beach. I saw, oh, it was Heather, the, Heather, I'm trying to think which Heather it was. Saw so Heather on Flusscube. She had stitched uh, all the, the whole lot. And then I saw her post also on Instagram. And um, I said, what is that? Because I want to stitch it. So it's all Heather's fault. And I have actually finished two of these. So I stitched mine on a 32 count um, Mocha Belfast. It's on the same linen, linen. It's on the same fabric that I'm doing the autumn on. And once again, I've done mine all in DMC. So. I've pulled a Chelsea and stitched it all on one piece. So on my one piece of fabric, I have three things on it. So the first piece I stitched was whatever floats your boat. It's very cool. So once again, this will be into a little pillow. And then I've done the big one, beach. Oh, DMC. It's very cool. And that will be into a pillow as well. Just a small one. So that leads into finishes. So there's two finishes. I also finished, uh, since I saw you last, my hands, hands on design. Yep, hands on design, a year in chalk. Some I don't go. So this is stitched in DMC um, on a 16 count Ada in chalkboard. So that only took me a couple of days to do. Very cool. I've also finished the Sleep Under the Stars by them. And this is stitched again on another 16 count uh, Ada in chalkboard with DMCs. And it's all ready to go to be sewn up. I have done the um, interfacing. I have cut the fabric. And I'll just wait for my, get my sewing machine tomorrow. And I'll just zoom around the edges and stuff it. And hopefully finish it tomorrow. And see how I butcher that. It'll be my first pillow, so that'll be awesome. 
Uh, last time I showed you some of my haul was the Kitty String by Lizzie Kate. And it is finished. This is stitched in a 32 count. Natural colored, all DMC. I had to swap some of the colours out because I didn't have them. But it is all done. Love it. Now, if I had forward planned, as you know, I've got three cats. And one of them is white, good old Snowball. I should have done, on the cat, a pink nose with one green eye and one blue eye. Which would have been Snowball's colours. But I didn't. Oops. And my last finish is my great big finish I'm very proud of. It is the Prairie Schooler where there are bees. So mine is stitched with the Cold 4 DMC. It is stitched on 32 count uh, Queen Anne's Lace, which is a Ludana, I believe. Finish this bad boy and I'm very proud of it I love it absolutely love this piece got bits all over it so there it is there in all its glory that there. I love looking at this. You would have seen me put a post up on Instagram of this one and the photo doesn't do it justice at all. Because when you start you look at the blue and you're like oh, I'm not quite sure on the blue, I'm not quite sure on the grey and the red doesn't really go and then when you start stitching them all together it's a different story. So that's my finish. Absolutely love it. So, so that's my whoops, my haul, and my finishes. So, as you know, I'm doing stitch from stash. So, I just thought I'd give you a brief update on that because I haven't done one. So, my budget is thirty-five New Zealand dollars per month, which is about this. 25 US dollars so in January obviously I started with 35 dollars and then I in January I finished um, my Easter or well, my ATCs I had three to do in January which were the catch up ones and then I finished um, Country Cottage Needleworks Apple Orchard and then I finished one no yes I finished Snow Place number three by Country Cottage Needleworks and then I finished Barbara uh, no it is Black Bird Designs Black Bird Designs Sweet Thoughts of You and then I made some purchases from one two three in the month so I ended up um, with a credit of 55 cents to carry over till February so I started February with $35.55. In that time, I only finished one ATC, which is worth $2. So I ended up, after buying some threads and another order with 123 Stitch, I ended up in negative $15.15 .15 for February. So, so far in February, I'm looking good. Um, all my haul I just showed you, is um, stuff my partner actually bought me so the only thing I bought myself was the uh, Heartstring Samplery's fob set and the Lizzie Kate uh, Summer Smalls they're the only two charts I have purchased myself um, and some fabric I purchased and some threads I have purchased 
and obviously the finishing fabric for my pillows that I'm going to make from the hands-on design chalk series I've done. But yeah, my partner's bought the rest, so that's cool. That's almost $100 worth of charts he's bought me that I didn't have to pay for, which is awesome. Um, so based on the finishes so far, so in March alone, I have finished one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight finishes in March. I am at the moment in credit. I haven't calculated how much, but I know it's more than my spend so far, so that's a good sign. And then I'm hoping that the only thing I will need to be buying next month would be things like my missing DMCs. I need to stitch some stuff. That's basically it. Everything else has been... I don't need anything else for the next few months, which is good. Because, as they say in Game of Thrones, winter is coming. Um, which will mean we'll be hibernating. Well, I will be, because I don't like the cold. So, yeah. So just the last little thing to talk about is rather than doing a giveaway, I have here Country Cottage Needleworks, the bookstore that I have stitched and finished, along with some threads, not necessarily the threads that come or are needed in the chart, just some random threads I had um, that I thought I'll share around because as you know earlier, at the end of last year, I got sent a big bag of threads from a lovely lady in the USA when your Joann's was selling them for two cents each. So I got $140 worth of DMC threads and these are some of the double ups from them. So I thought I'd share the love. But rather than doing a giveaway and for to help me keep within my stitch from stitch budget, I want to organize doing a chart swap with someone. So, if someone would like to stitch this chart, please contact me either here on YouTube or otherwise you can contact me on Instagram. Or you can find me under my handle which is at mind my needle, all one word, same as my channel name here. And let me know what chart you want to swap with. And it, it has to be something I would stitch. Let's be honest, because there's no point swapping a chart for something you don't like. So I will send you this and the threads I have in exchange for a chart. Uh, preferably, to be honest, I'm not interested in swapping for anything like a lavender lace, any uh, toad in a garden, no Noras, no Mirabilias, nothing like that. That's just getting silly. I'm one of those at a time or enough. If you have any country cottage or uh, little house needleworks, I'm interested. Um, yep, definitely interested. Just yeah, as I said, please contact me either on here or on the yeah, Instagram again. Um, you can find me there once again as at my my needle, which is the same as my channel name here. It's nice and easy. And yep, we can talk about it. No problem at all. So I just thought doing a chart swap would be good. And then I'm hoping um, every time I finish a chart, it'll go in my box. And then hopefully once one a video, I'll be doing a chart swap with someone. So the more stuff I can finish, the more I will be doing swaps. So yeah, so my plans. Plans, plans, plans is to finish my autumn small. My Lizzie K autumn small, uh, hopefully today. Um, then I would like to finish my Country Cottage Needleworks Cafe and I would also like to, where did I put the chart, I would like to stitch this one and this one and then once they're stitched obviously I can do a chart swap with this Lizzie Kate if anyone's interested. This will probably be the next swap once I've stitched these two. So yeah, that's the plan. So also, if you've seen any charts that I have that you would like to stitch, 
please let me know and we can I can always put you down for once I finish them I get a hold of you and let you know and we can do a chart swap no problem at all so yeah these Lizzie Kate's are so quick and easy so my first Lizzie Kate I ever stitched was actually my kitty spring so that's really cool that was fun to stitch it was quick and easy and then I obviously saw this one these were so quick. I think I'd done this in two nights. And this one about two nights. I was just stitching in bed for an hour or so each night. So yeah. Really want to make that pillow. I don't know if I would make it like that though. Hmm. Alright. Instead of sitting here pondering. I'll leave you guys to it so thank you for watching thank you for coming back thank if you're new thank you for coming and seeing and viewing my babble and all my stitching progress um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and as always I'll answer them um, otherwise I'll see you when I see you and have a good stitching week bye folks